in our last video, we talked about Antex DMXs, this great software with a box, that is really my choice for beginning with stage lighting. And what I want to do now is go ahead and just show you the basics of getting DMXs hooked up to actual lights and getting lighting out of it. Because I think the number one thing that scares people about software controllers, and DMXs runs on a PC or a Mac, uh, so you probably have a computer already that does it. But the number one thing that scares people is, is it going to be complicated? Is it going to be difficult to, to set up? Is it going to be buggy? And I want to show you here how it is not any of those. Okay, and it's really simple. So I want to walk you through the steps, uh, no holds barred, just show you everything it takes to get this hooked up. The very first thing I'm going to do is get my DMX's box, and I'm going to plug it into my computer via the included USB port. So I grab the USB cord. It's just a regular, you know, like a printer cable. We'll plug that guy in. Boom, you might have heard the little chime. The computer finds it. It's happy. We're good to go. What happens next? Now we want to go ahead and hook up our light. So I've got here a Gamma Starburst bar that I've reviewed on my channel before. You can check out that review here. I'm going to plug in its power. And then I'm also going to go ahead and plug in a DMX cable. So I've just got a short one here. Now, one of the really nice things about DMXs is that it has both three and five pin outs. Now, you don't want to use them both at the same time, but it helps to not need an adapter uh, whether your light uses three or five pin, and this light uses three. So we're just going to hook that guy up, DMX out from DMXs into the DMX in port of my light. Awesome. Now, the last thing that we need to do is set the DMX address. So you'll want to look to your light's manual uh, as exactly how to do that. Often you can just get in the menu, you know, press mode basically a bunch of times till you see something that says address or something similar to that. You can set the number, but consult your manual because even the simplest lights like this, this simple LED part have multiple modes. So for this example, I'm going to take it to uh, the DMX mode and then I'm going to go ahead and set it to one. Okay, then I'll press enter. Um, some lights require you to do that, others don't. It's always a good idea. And now what I've done basically is I've set this light to DMX address one and I've got it plugged in to DMXs. So now we can hop into the computer and we can watch this thing work. All right, so now I'm over here at the computer and I've gone ahead and launched DMXs. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go to show, manage shows and create a new show. Then I can press load show, press okay. And now I can see in my top bar, I'm in that show. I can also see this flashing yellow light. And because I don't have a message here about um, the box not being connected, I know I'm good to go. Now, if it's the first time that you connect your DMX's box, it does walk you through an online activation uh, where you use code from the bottom of your box, you enter your email, you get a code back to activate the computer. Um, pro tip, write the code on the bottom of your box because if you wanna use this on another computer, you can use that code to do so. Now I've got my light here. Now, if I just wanna get started and turn it on, I can literally bring up my faders. So here's red, here's green, here's blue, here's, I think this light is white, yep, and white. Okay, I can turn those on. But I mentioned before, and I've mentioned in my other videos that what really helps DMXs and what makes it great is that you can label the faders. So I'm gonna go for each light that I have, in this case it's just one, right click, go to fixture library, and then I'm gonna go find my light. Now, this particular light isn't necessarily in the fixture library, but if we go to something that's an RGBW, like maybe I'll go to ADJ, and I'll find a four channel light, chances are, that that's gonna have, nope, that wasn't RGBW, it was red, green, blue, dimmer. But that's okay. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go back to no fixture, and I wanna bring a web browser window here now. So I'm gonna open up a web browser, and I'm gonna go to the website, fixtures.dmxs.com, okay? Once I'm logged into that site, I'll go ahead, and I'm just gonna find a generic fixture. So RGB 
W. Actually, this is a WA. Um, so this is a red, green, blue, white, amber UV light. It's a six in one. So I'm just going to scroll down for something like this. And I know that if I basically find a six channel, I'll go to generic here. And if I just find a six channel, you know, WA UV, I know it will work here. So here we go. Generic RGB WA UV. Boom. Done. It's actually probably the same light because it has a D mode and an A mode. And that's what I've got here. And I've got it in the A mode, which is a six channel. So I'll go to download for DMXs. It downloads the file. I go ahead and extract the zip file. And then what I do is I put this in my DMXs folder. Now this is going to be in different places on Windows and Macs. Um, but in Windows, uh, basically what I'll do here is I'll go ahead to my program files folder. So I go to computer, you go to my local disk, my program files. I think it's the x86 one. Yep, NTech DMXs, DMX library. Then I have the brands of lights. Now, what I like to do here is just make a new folder, continue, and put a star in front of it, or not a star, uh, an A, and then my fixtures. And the reason why is that's going to cause it to come up first in the list in DMXs. Then I can paste these these lights here. Now they're in the DMXs library, and I can go ahead and start DMXs, um, and it will check for them again on startup. So restart DMXs, right-click, fixture library, A, my fixtures, boom, RGBA, W, UV. And as we can see, R, just use my finger on the touch screen, G, B, W, A, UV. It's a little harder to see that. And so it really is that simple to get started controlling your first lights with DMXs. Now, if you liked this, check out the rest of the playlist, which I've got below, as well as the first video of it here on the screen, all about choosing your right lighting console. Then hop over to learnstagelighting.com and grab my free guide to begin with lighting. We will see you in those places. Thanks.